with 30 years of death metal excellence gracing the cover, a Hall of Fame induction for Dimmu Borgia's expansive black metal orchestrations, and the usual jugular torrent of heavy-themed journalistic effluence, Decibel Magazine's March issue, their 149th monthly trip into the void, offers yet another wide-ranging and thoroughly engaging examination of all the news that's fit to print in the lands of doom, death, and all manner of black and crusty goodness. Like an influx of swarming locusts, Panopticon's sheep and wolf's clothing surrounds the listener in a claustrophobic swirl of an incessant treble chord riff and barreling drums for Decibel's 75th flexi single. Austin Lund's vocal rasps distantly echo into the instrumental maelstrom, adding a bleak and despondent atmosphere. The song's second half exudes an added desperation with its hurried flurry. While merely a hint of Austin Lund's folk and bluegrass tinged black metal closes out this nearly seven minute regal rager, Sheep and Wolves Clothing exhibits a focused and unrelenting air that bolsters the song to its conclusion. Also featured are a look into the private playlists of Decibel's scribes, staff, and guest slayers, Neil Jameson's opinions on year end lists, and brutal truths celebrating beers with lower alcohol that are meant to be enjoyed, not pounded like a case of Milwaukee's best. Studio updates on deathly veteran suffocation and black metal explorers Cormorant, profile pieces and Pittsburgh-based hardcore experimentalist Code Orange, anonymous Swedish black metalers Merg, New York black metal crew Black Anvil, crossover thrashes, hyperactive miscreants Iron Reagan, and reanimated death metal scold fuckers Morta Scold are voraciously assimilated by my synapses. An article on Overkill illuminates a band that still strives to improve and outdo their illustrious 35-year history and an interview with Mastodon bassist vocalist Troy Sanders briefly offers an update on the next Mastodon record before offering insight into Troy's atmospheric rock project Gone is Gone and the group's latest offering Echolocation. A special report delves into the history and future of independent college-based extreme radio programming, whether on terrestrial radio or attaining worldwide reach via streaming and other online opportunities. A well-curated, well-informed radio show can still show vitality in our changing times. A black metal masterpiece, Dibu Borger's Death Cult Armageddon, is enshrined in Decibel Magazine's Hall of Fame, pushing the aural boundaries of black metal Death Cult Armageddon's full and prominent orchestration opened new vistas for sonic expansion. Employing a full orchestra, Dimmu Borgia crafted an album that found them performing midday on Ozfest and even had songs being used in big budget Hollywood movies Hellboy and Stardust. Cover story legends Immolation find themselves the focal point of this issue of Decibel Magazine. 30 years of dedication to death metal, recent lineup changes, modern writing and recording practices, and the band's 10th studio album, Atonement, all are addressed in this excellent feature article on such an influential band. The magazine's crack staff provides yet another month's listening considerations with a bevy of sometimes insightful, sometimes irreverent, always interesting new music reviews, with releases by Iron Reagan, Abel Rim, Immolation, Overkill, Unearthly Trance, even Cynic's new demo compilation being reviewed, alongside a special roundup of Nintendo-inspired Metal Madness, Shane Mailing's Needle Exchange, and the always-themed Throw Me a Frickin' Bone collection of local artists. Richard Christie's love of Krampus and King Diamond are proudly evident in this month's Horoscope column. As March's issue of Decibel draws to a close, Taking the place, but never replacing John Darnielle's South Pole Dispatch, closing feature double negative has us testing our observe and compare skills.